Hey guys, Mike here at MX Tutorials and welcome back to a new video. All right, well, uh, today we're going to do another subscriber request and today's question is, can you show how to animate text? So create text in 3D and animate it, all right? So here we go. We're going to go up to create. We're going to go to text, hit the option box. And what we'll do is we'll just put in a text, uh, let's say, hi there, okay? We're going to select the bevel option. And here you have the option to set the bevel width, depth, and so forth, but we'll just go with the standard. And you also have, you know, some options, you know, to concave in, concave out, and so forth. So you can just uh, pick what any option you like, okay? But we're just going to go and hit Create. And there's our text, all right? Now, the question was not only to demonstrate how to uh, create the text, but also how to animate it, okay? So... We're going to select it, and as uh, at this point, it's just one object. So I'm just going to move it up so it's sitting on a grid like that. And then I'm going to create a plane. Hit R and scale that out. So we've got that going on. And then I'm going to select my text, and I'm going to go up to Mesh and Separate. So now each letter, and actually these two, I'll just combine because it's one letter. There we go. These are now all individual letters. All right, let's just add some color to it just for fun. Right click, assign new material. Let's go with a, uh, a blin. And let's turn that red, like so, okay? And what we'll do is we'll just uh, add some light. So we're gonna go to create, Lights, let's do an area light. Let's hit W to pull that up. Hit T on our keyboard so we can kind of aim our light. And hit seven on our keyboard so we can activate it and actually see what's going on, okay? So I'm gonna pull the light in, kind of aim that at my text here. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll hit Control D to duplicate that light. And let's put one over here. Okay. So that's our text so far. And like I said, we're going to animate it. Now, with the letters being individual letters right now, you can animate them and keyframe them like any other polygon object. So, for example, what we can do is we'll uh, take the text and we'll have the letters slide forward one by one. Okay. So let's do, let's say 250 frames. We'll take our first letter here and we're gonna hit S on our keyboard to keyframe it, as you can see here. And then we're gonna move to, let's say frame 20. Just move your slider here. We're gonna hit W and we're gonna move that forward, let's say to a value of one. And then we're going to right click and go to set key. Okay. We'll then take the next letter. That one again is on frame one. So don't worry about that guy. We're going to hit S to keyframe it. And then what we'll do is we will move to frame 40 because we want that to take a bit longer. Okay. And we'll move it forward again to value one right click set key we'll go to the next one run zero as the keyframe we're going to move to frame 60 and we're going to pull it forward to one right click set key we'll take this guy go back to frame zero as the keyframe, go to frame 80. There we go. And forward to a value of one, right click set key, almost there. Run zero, as the keyframe, let's go to frame 100. Move that up to a value of one, right click set key. Next one, keyframe on one, 
go to frame 120, move forward to a value of 1, right click set key, and the last one, key frame on 1, go to frame 140, move that forward to a value of 1, and right click and set key. Okay. So now we're going to go back to frame one and let's hit play and see what we've got. And there you go. That's all there's to it. So obviously we uh, are moving our letters in this direction, but you can move them up, you can move them back, you can play with your timing here. Uh, but this is just the basics of how to create and animate text. Okay. So hopefully this uh, short tutorial was helpful. Uh, hopefully it met the needs of the person that requested it. And that said, thank you guys for watching and love to see you guys next time. Bye.